Welcome back to Mob Pop Sports. This is Grandy. If this is your first time here, welcome. Uh, if you guys uh, returning, welcome back. Appreciate you guys checking out the video, checking out the channel. Uh, been a while since I've been able to record. I was actually out sick all week last week. Uh, don't know if I had COVID or not. Uh, I did the, the, I guess the the testing and it came back negative, but a lot of the symptoms showed COVID shit. So go figure. I don't know, uh, but I'm finally better. It was a uh, nasty headache and and just kind of I, I wouldn't say I'm feverish, body aches a little bit. So uh, nothing too crazy, but. Who knows it was a new strain i don't know man i think i was all right though uh but like i said negative test so go figure man but finally better able to record um if i was going to record last week it would have been horrendous my mind was like it was like lightheadedness and all that that good stuff with being sick so much better uh i was actually still pretty much working i was still listing uh just not as much i was doing a couple hours a day if i could list whatever but i was still shipping on a daily basis uh and then after that i was just trying to drink fluids and rest man and then stay away from the kids uh school's about to start here pretty soon so i did not want them to get sick so there you guys go on that so uh what is it beginning of august right now guys uh, a lot of things has been happening in the industry in itself there's a lot of things going on i'll touch a little bit on that uh, i'll make this just kind of a short video just so what uh what i'm going to be working on um i think second week of august uh 2024 what's happening so make sure this weekend if you guys are around the denver colorado area head to the thornton uh the delta uh hotel area i believe because we're doing a car show this saturday and sunday i'll be there i'll have a couple tables there i'm just getting some stuff ready this week that's what i'm gonna be doing this week um that's just as a tip for you guys if you guys are looking to do shows and stuff or you've never done a show or if you're looking to uh how do i prep for shows i usually take uh, a pretty much an hour a day so this is what i usually do i don't know it's up to you but the week of the show prior to the show um i usually take about an hour a day out of my typical work day uh, that I'm doing everything on my eBay store, all that stuff. Um, but I take about an hour a day out, uh, price things out that I'm gonna be taking to the show, whether it's wax, whether it's sports cards, whether it's slabs, whether it's um, you know just raw stuff, whether it's just a box of just stuff, okay? So I spend about an hour a day for about five days straight prior to the thing, so you don't get overwhelmed. So this is the thing, this is, this is my tip for you breaking it down and instead of waiting the Friday, the Thursday prior, if you can, you know, jump ahead, spend an hour a day so you don't get stressed out because I did that before. This is how I do it. I don't know, up to you. Uh, but what I used to do was I used to do it a day before a day, you know, two days prior or a day before I used to just slam myself with like all day long of, of prepping for the show and it's really stressful. And then on top of that, cause I was thinking, Oh, if I get the latest comps, it's going to be the very, 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 very latest comps because I get all the way up to the, the day of the show, right? You can do that. Uh, however, I mean, if you base your, your cards and you price your stuff off of recent, most recent comps, usually uh, the, the three to five average you know, previous sales, you should be fine. Gives you room to negotiate, guys. So don't worry about that too, too, too much. I always say is that um, because it puts too much pressure on you. So what I actually do is I spend an hour a day uh, every day and that's it just an hour everything from pricing the cards getting stuff ready getting my gear and stuff ready getting my uh, You know presentation glasses, whatever I was talking about uh, get that stuff ready getting my uh, my little uh, pull cart ready getting um, Just little things and stuff ready on the uh, on, on a daily basis just an hour an hour an hour an hour an hour So if you break it down, that's like five to six hours of the week uh, prior and then on Friday just any last final show, final touches I want to do for the show So that's what I do so I don't put so much pressure on that very last day So then when uh, the day comes for setup, I'm pretty much ready to rock and roll and load everything up and I'm, I'm good to go So that's what I recommend uh, So you don't put too much pressure on yourself and too much stress. I think uh, there's a lot stress level down if, if you if you prepare ahead so just kind of like I said take an hour a day uh, for about a week and then that way you don't just slam yourself on the last day or two But anyways, if you guys get a chance swing by there, I'll have two tables. I think 
Uh, I'm prepping. I'm going to be bringing some wax and slabs. I don't know how much raw stuff I'm going to have. I might just have some old uh, stuff I might throw into uh, some boxes and stuff for people to kind of go through if I have a chance on that. Um, but we'll see on that. But mostly it's going to be wax and slabs. I'm going to have a lot of slabs. Uh, hopefully I can move some things. We'll see how this show goes. I'll let you guys know. Obviously, I'll, I'll, I'll give a uh, rapport of how, how traffic was and stuff moving uh from from everything i heard about the nationals it just happened what a couple weeks ago it was great turnout lots of uh transactions a lot of things were being bought a lot of things are being sold just depends on uh uh you know the people and how you know dealers price things if they're willing to to do that so there you guys go that's what i'm gonna be doing this week on top of that, uh, I got some old vintage lots that I, I purchased. Uh, I wouldn't even say vintage, sorry. Just just older, um, just wax stuff. I'm just going to be listing on the eBay store this week. Nothing crazy. Uh, I kind of slowed down on my buying a little bit. I wanted to get through because I still have like a lot of bulk stuff that I need to go through and list. So... I kind of step, like I said, step back on in regards to buying uh, inventory because I need to list whatever I can on the store. I'm all, almost at that fifty thousand mark on the store, so I'm still, you know, I, I, like I was telling you guys, uh, the pre. I think I had the, I don't, I think I had the premium store, but I don't want to go to the next level because it's going to be like way expensive on a monthly basis it, it doesn't justify i might just open up a second store so stay tuned on that once i get to the fifty thousand listings which hopefully i get there within the next month or two uh hopefully before the end of the year that's definitely my goal i was telling you guys about that before uh and then i'll probably open up a second store more uh memorabilia stuff uh, i might start going into that a little bit more uh just just so you guys know is that uh, memorabilia stuff I feel like I have a it's just a, a an area that I feel it's kind of untapped in my my viewpoint and I think it's kind of cool I still like that stuff so that's the thing like I always tell you guys if you start your own business uh, especially if you're reselling stuff or flipping stuff do stuff that you actually enjoy collecting and looking at uh, otherwise I feel like it's just boring and then it just doesn't mean much to you and and um, it's just monotonous then I feel like, but, uh, I was just picking up a lot of jer some autographed Jersey stuff. I'm going to be uh, putting up on the eBay store. Uh, so like I said, the next store might be just more sports memorabilia, but I'll still probably put cards on it too. So we'll see on that as that comes along. Uh, and I'm prepping for that coming up, uh, numbers wise this past week, uh, it was up and down. Uh, I felt like two, I think two weeks ago, I mentioned to you guys, I did really well sales wise. Last week was a little bit, eh. and then, like I said, it's just been kind of up and down. Certain days I do really well, certain days not so well. Uh, just the nature of the business, uh, the beast. And then, uh, economy obviously affecting it. I think just a lot of people, um, you know, uncertainty of just the economy in itself is really, I think it definitely affects the business. But however, I still see people buying stuff, guys. I still see people buying stuff on my eBay store. So see people making offers. People are still buying cars. It's just um, something people love to do. It's, it's kind of a, like I said, this is a, a chance to collect things and it's a hobby for people to get away from the real life world to kind of give them a break. It's like a vacation from dealing with the the day-to-day -day stuff, collecting stuff that you enjoy and love. It's a hobby, guys. So, and that's why I really enjoy it. I enjoy this hobby. I enjoy flipping carbs. I enjoy uh, reselling things and, and, you know, and stuff like that because if it gives people joy and stuff, especially when, and I get this all the time. So this is the cool thing about selling on the eBay store. I mean, I get people message me all the time. Thank you so much for this car. Thank you so much for this deal. Um, you know, I've been looking for this car or whatever the case may be. This is my son's, this is my dad's, uh, you know, car that I'm going to give them for their birthday, whatever the case may be. You'll be surprised more, more, more times than none that, uh, you get those types of remarks, even at, you know, car shows, things like that. And that's the stuff that makes, you know, makes me what I do actually super enjoyable. I really do appreciate that. And it's the cool thing about that. And if I run across some cool stuff I can collect there you guys go you know more, more power to me right in a sense so uh the other and i guess the last thing i, I definitely want to talk about in this video i know it's kind of all over the spot but just kind of give you guys an update of, of what's going on with me and my you know my my current status don't worry about what's going too too much about what's going on with the hobby guys um stay informed and when I say that, everything from what Topps Fanatics is doing, everything from the CTI, uh, CT scans, all that stuff, uh, everything from the 
fake slabs to the uh, the breakers who are stealing cards. There's always, so this is the thing about any industry, about any business, guys, any business. There's always gonna be some negativity. There's it's always gonna be, it's gonna happen. It's just the nature of humans, which sucks, but it is what it is. Um, but sometimes tune that shit out uh, and focus on what you're doing and, and enjoy what you're doing. Look at the positives. The positives outweigh the negatives, guys. This hobby, I feel like the fun, the great aspects of it, the ability to, to make a living out of it, the ability to collect stuff that you've never seen before and enjoy and appreciate, um, all that stuff, in my opinion, outweighs all the negative stuff. Yes, stay informed. Yes, keep an eye out on those stuff and know about those stuff, those things. But don't let that stuff over, you know, uh, Take over the fact that you enjoy this hobby or you're looking to flip or you make a business out of it or whatever the case you may be. And and just, you know what I mean? Like, like the neg- I'm not saying tune that shit out. Understand it. But you know what? Sometimes just focus on you and just do your own thing and just enjoy it and you'll be all right. Otherwise, it's going to drive you nuts. If you worry too much about what's, oh my God, these guys are cheaters. They're going to, you know, CT scan all the boxes, all that stuff. I, they they may have, and it's been around, right? It still doesn't change the fact you still love to collect this Michael Jordan uh, 1996, whatever, Metal Universe card. You know what I mean? Um, or you love this, you know, Kobe Bryant rookie card that you collected. It still doesn't change that fact. Or, you know, I can't wait to collect this, this new CJ Stroud rookie card, or whatever the case may be. Okay, all the other stuff, yes, it is, it sucks, it happens. You can't really change the fact of what people are going to do, but you can change the fact of how you feel and how you know you embrace the, the industry yourself. So there you guys go, I'm, I'm just trying to be positive. I understand there's neg- a lot of crap, and a lot of shit that's going on in the industry, but uh, in my eyes, if you wanna enjoy this, enjoy it guys, you know, take it for what it is. And then, but like I said, still be informed, don't be stupid but still be informed. But like I said, enjoy the hobby, collect your cards, whatever. Um, and then if you guys have questions, feel free to send it. Hopefully this week, um, I will get a q and I had a lot of people ask a lot of questions, which is awesome. Keep that coming, whether on my uh, Instagram page or just commenting on below. Uh, I'll definitely do a Q&A before the show this weekend. And then uh, I'll let you guys know how the show goes um, this weekend. Hopefully I get a chance to see you guys out there if, you, if anybody's in the area. So other than that, man, Go Team USA. Huge shout out to my homie, Steph Curry. If you guys did not see, obviously, I'm, if you're, you haven't seen on social media, Steph Curry, the shit. Uh, the last two, three minutes of that USA game versus France was amazing. Go see the highlights. Uh, it was one of the greatest things I've ever seen on a basketball court done since probably Michael Jordan in my eyes. Because uh, number one, I was a Michael Jordan fan. Number two, I'm a Steph Curry fan. Go figure, right, guys? So, uh, but it was the coolest thing I've ever seen in like the span of a couple minutes of a person who who was just in the zone. So make sure you guys check that out. Uh, other than that, appreciate you guys. Feel free to subscribe if you guys like this stuff. If you're not subscribed, still appreciate you guys watching the video this far. Uh, Don't forget, check out the eBay store in the link in the description. I'm gonna be listing cards on a daily basis as I always do. Make sure to make an offer of anything you like. Every little bit helps. Other than that, man, have a good rest of the week. Uh, Till next time, have a good one, guys.